Welcome back. I'm Ezra Levant. Barbarity in the Islamic State. We've seen it before with multiple beheading videos. They barely make the news anymore, but the video released yesterday of the captured Jordanian pilot being burnt alive was a new low. And more than that, it was full of symbolism. Our terrorism expert, Jonathan Levy, joins us with more. Now, I want to tell you that there will be graphic videos shown in this segment. I will warn you before we play them. But I say again, if you do not want to see obscene violence, turn the channel for the next 10 minutes. Jonathan, nice to see you again. I, I want to go through this video. I showed the worst of it uh, in the monologue. But there are certain things that have a symbolism that perhaps Western eyes like my own and most of our viewers will not understand. This 22-minute propaganda video started, to my eyes, making King Abdullah of Jordan look great. He's dressed in his military outfit. He's meeting with uh, President Barack Obama. We'll show that as we talk here. This part of the propaganda video, I mean, look, he lo it, it makes the King of Jordan look very king-like. Why would terrorists who hate King Abdullah of Jordan put this in their propaganda video. They wanted to portray him as a murtad, as an apostate, as a traitor. So he cooperate with the crusaders, with those who fight Muslims. And the meaning of that, that he is responsible to the death of Muslims in Syria and Iraq. He personally responsible for the killing, for the maiming, mm -hmm. for the burning alive of, of Muslim people in Iraq and Syria. And he the meaning of that, if he is apostate, he should be uh, killed by Muslims. I mean, they, they show him speaking in perfect English with a bit of a British accent. I think that just goes to emphasize how un-Muslim and much of a, a traitor, apostate mm. he is. Now, I want to show the next uh, clip while we're talking here um, of him being burned. We're not going to show the whole thing again, but again, this is... Tell me the symbolism. Why has the Islamic State beheaded other hostages just last week, a couple of Japanese, they behead Brits, they behead Americans. Why did they go for death by burning here? What's the symbolism? All apostates must be executed according to Islam. Uh, th this is the capital pa punishment that uh, applies on, uh, to all of them. Uh, in this case, they prefer the burning and not the execution by the sword, beheading, because they wanted to uh, convey a message to, uh, to, uh, to the Jordanians, to the Muslims, and also to the West. There's a, there's a mixed, um, a complicated message. First of all, to the Jordanians, you are going to be the target. This is a declaration of war against Jordan. And we are targeting uh, the, this kingdom. The king is from the family of what is called Prophet Muhammad, but he's a traitor, he's apostate. He is son of a British woman who converted to Islam. He is not, he is illegitimate ruler. So what's and with the fire? The, the fire was, uh, they relied on the hadith uh, uh, that, um, uh, that saying that uh, Prophet uh, Muhammad, Prophet of Islam, uh, burnt with, uh, took a burning hot metal and blinded apostates in, in one case. And the Caliph Abu Bakr uh, burnt alive apostate, uh, one of the apostates who um, uh, uh, went to uh, fight Muslims. So they rely on these two occasions, on two in uh, incidents, in order to say, yes, it is approved by Islam as a capital punishment. They actually circulated that uh, religious judicial yes. decision. That and anyway, fatwa. all apostates are destined to be in hellfire eternally. Right. Now, we don't have a lot of time, but I want to show you this. I saw this part of the video. This is, they, they showed the pilot, they had obviously beaten him and tortured him uh, to interrogate him, and they showed these maps and these graphic images of the Air Force uh, that was conducting the mission that showed the different countries. Like here they show the United States, Canada yeah. mm -hmm. was on the map there, and then they move it up, and he's describing this coalition, and they call it the Crusader Coalition, and look at this. Here come the flags of the United Arab mm -hmm. Emirates, Kuwait, mm -hmm. Bahrain, Oman, all of these countries that you and I would call Muslim countries, like some of them are 99% Muslim, in this video, they are being called a crusader army. And then the next part here, uh, and then they show the military. Well, like, this is very sophisticated video production graphics. And then, of course, they bring in the Jews as the biggest demon of mm -hmm. all. Tell me what you make from this. I was startled by the production value. This is the kind of thing that a... TV network, there's the mm -hmm. evil Jews there leading the Crusaders. Yes. 
but uh, making him outline the Crusader mm -hmm. war in this way, what was the mm -hmm. purpose of that? They were under the flags of the uh, Western, uh, Western uh, countries, and they mean that they are like slaves of the Satan, slaves of the Crusaders, all these Arab countries. And the message is very clear, and I saw it today uh, on uh, one of the websites affiliated with ISIS. They are calling to the Saudi soldiers, repent today come over to the Islamic State before it's too late. Mm. It's a method of terrorizing the soldiers of, of the coalition. They want to demor demoralize the Jordanian army. That's why they also published names of uh, um, um, the pilots, uh, the Jordanian pilots. Uh, yeah, let's just show that in our final seconds yes. here, the names and yes. pictures the, of the fellow pilots he was with. He basically said, here are the people I was flying with, and there's a bounty on their head, right? A bounty, and but I mean, each one of them is now being on the hit list yeah. by, by the supporters of ISIS. It's incredible. Listen, we, we're out of time, I regret. It's a 22-minute video. It's deeply disturbing, but we need to be disturbed because we need to understand what's coming. Jonathan Alevi, thank you very much thank you. for your expertise as always.